first in the spotlight tonight is Emma McAllister, an e-learning developer from Belfast. Her specialist subject, Creation Records. And your name is? Emma McAllister. Your occupation? E-learning developer. And your specialist subject? Creation Records. Creation Records in 90 seconds. Here we go. What was the Jesus and Mary Chain's debut single released by Creation in 1984? It was also the title of a 2010 documentary film about the label. Upside Down. Yep. In May 93, the Creation co-founder Alan McGee saw Oasis for the first time at which Glasgow club? King Tut's Wawa Hut? Yes, according to McGee, which musician had strange clothes on and looked like Henry VIII without the crown when they met? Uh, pass. My Bloody Valentine's second album was eventually released in 91 after several years in production at a cost said to have almost bankrupted Creation. What was its title? Loveless. Yes, in 89, Creation moved from their original office in Clerkenwell Road to which street in Hackney? Westgate Street. Yes, what was the first track on the Primal Scream album Screamadelica? Moving on up. Yep. In 92, Sony bought 49% of creation for £2.5 million, although another indie label founded by Derek Green in the 1980s had made a similar offer. What was its name? China Records. Yes. What was the name of McGee's own band whose releases included the album Pass the Paintbrush, honey? Biff Bang Pie. Yes. Creation set up three subsidiary labels in the 90s. Revola and August were two. What was the third, which was run by Chris Abbott? Infonet. Yep. What derogatory term was applied to some creation bands, including Ride and Slow Dive, who were said to concentrate on their guitar effects pedals instead of looking at the audience? Shoegazers. Yes. Which track from Bernard Butler's debut solo album People Move On reached number 12 in the UK singles chart in 1998? Pass. Ah, well, I can tell you that because the time is up. Stay was the name of that one. And uh, your other pass, that... Um, Chap who had strange clothes on and looked like Henry VIII without the crown, whatever that looks like. Anyway, it was Kevin Rowland. Yep, there you go. Anyway, Emma, you had nine points. Thank you.